what's up guys this is oswaldo from rock entry welcome back to the channel and if you're new here welcome now today we have a special request and this request came from bouldering vlog awesome channel guys if you haven't checked them out please do so it's derek and flo awesome people awesome climbers really enjoy their videos now the problem they requested is this purple one here it's a mantle to a pistol squat crux and once again we're gonna go over the crux what i did wrong and what i did in order to send it all right guys let's do this so after so many attempts this last one was pretty solid now before we go into details on that move i want to show you guys the steps that it took me to get to that point so if we go back to the beginning here the start of the problem was pretty straightforward there's nothing special about it now once i get to this point i start inspecting these holes here these side poles just getting a feel for it one of the first things that I do is just jump up into a mantle and then I start using my left palm to keep pressing up. So here I'm just trying to press up, but as you can see, my feet are just dangling. They're not doing much and it's not helping. So I'm pretty much stuck here. There's nothing I can do. I can't continue pressing up. All of my weight is on my left palm and my forearm. So I end up falling out after I struggle. All right, so on this next attempt, I do the same thing, but the difference here, after I jump up, I go for the left side pull, and I start smearing with my left foot. So in this position, I start feeling a lot better. I start getting that feel of, okay, this is getting a lot better, but there's still something wrong. So I'm still struggling, and I fall out. Now on this third time, I actually start off with my left hand on the side pole and a high smear. I bring my left foot high and then I press down on my left foot and on my forearm, but it's still a struggle. Now let's look at these two back to back because this is actually what made it happen. Now. They both look similar, but there's a huge difference. And the difference is on the left side, I'm using my right forearm to press down. And on the right side, I'm using my right hand to press down, as you can see here. Now, starting off with the left side, at this point, there's no more room for me to press down. This is it. I'm gonna have to bring my left leg up. So this is where I get crunched up and trying to bring my left leg up and this is where the struggle happens. Now looking at the right side, my right hand is bent so I still have more room to lock that right hand and even my left leg like so. Now once I'm in this position, I can actually switch feet at this point so I can free up my left leg and bring it up to this hold. All 
A tip I want to share is climbing a problem multiple times to work on details. So for instance, here I am working on smearing, smearing with my left foot. Now, if you look on the left side, when I'm smearing, I don't put enough pressure on my toe that I end up slipping a bit. I do recover, but again, it takes more energy and it's something that I can improve. So if you look on the right side, I put enough pressure on my left toe and you can obviously see the flow on the sand if you compare these two back to back. All right, let's look at the full sand. we did it guys if you find this video useful or helpful in any way please do give it a like and also subscribe if you haven't yet so you can get more climbing videos just like this thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time